Hello and welcome back to another video. So earlier I had an epiphany. I realized about a week ago that they actually updated Subtlety and they gave us back a stance bar so that when we're in Shadow Dance we actually have our access to our stealth bar again. And so originally my Shadow Dance macros didn't work because I was just over spamming dance charges and that's no good. So earlier today when I was messing around with it I managed to come up with a solution. I will put the macros on screen here and I will put them in the description so you can very easily copy paste them into your macro book and it, hopefully it helps you out. Also note before I explain a little bit more about these macros that I have this extra line in my macro for slash change action bar 2 and the reason for that is I've played subtlety for so long that back in Wrath of the Lich King we used to actually have a third bar that was dedicated to only shadow dance and I preferred to set up my dance bar like my main bar as opposed to my stealth bar so when that change happened I had to learn to manually change bars as well if you're used to using your stealth bar you may want to leave this line out but if not then you can do this as well and then what I do in addition to that is I make a macro for stealth to change action bar back to one and I bind it also to vanish so that when I vanish or stealth or hit those key binds it changes my action bar from page two to page one and then in addition to that I have a separate key bind in case I need that to change my action bar from two to one as well also, since I mentioned it, I might as well mention my keybinds in case anyone's curious. I use control scroll back to go to page 2 and shift scroll back to go to page 1 if I ever need to switch outside of macros without risking using an ability I don't want to use. Um, basically, this is my first dance macro here. It's just, it just pops shadow dance and uses a non-use trinket. Uh, the reason I still have a normal dance macro that's pretty much the same functionality as the actual button is just because through talents, we can get Master of Shadows, which immediately grants us 30 energy when you enter Stealth or activate Shadow Dance. And sometimes you may want to use Shadow Dance over top of an already, or over top of already having Shadow Dance up, just for that extra energy to get one more ability out. Maybe that can be a kill or whichever. My next Shadow Dance macro is for Shadow Dance Sap. I also have one for Cheap Shot as well, and I also have the Focus variants as well. And basically, what this macro does now is it'll only use shadow dance if you're not in stealth and by not in stealth I also mean not shadow dancing so you can spam it all you want and it'll only use shadow dance if shadow dance isn't up and then if it is up since it counts as you being in stealth um, it'll use sap or cheap shot or whichever skill you have in the spot so I'll just have this macro displayed on screen and it'll also be in the comments below so you can easily copy and paste it and this macro here is the same exact macro except for it has target equals focus variant in it and even though you'll probably be copying and pasting it it's really important to note that these two square brackets after the target equals focus need to be here or it will only use sap one time after you use shadow dance and you won't be able to spam it so say you need to like sap somebody's trinket after sapping them it won't be possible so you need to make sure that's there and my last dance related macro here will be for backstab and shout strike. This is really nice because like I said I'm used to having backstab on two and then when I pop shadow dance it would switch over to that dance bar for me and ambush would be on two as well. So I used to always do this in the past so that if my once I removed the dance bar and my dance bar wasn't automatically swapping back I would still have some functionality and I could kind of manually switch back at my own pace. So basically what this does is it just uses backstab when you're out of stealth and when you pop shadow dance it's going to switch the tooltip over to shadow strike and it'll use shadow strike in its place and then when dance ends it'll use backstab again no problem. It's just an all in one button. The reason why I believe these macros are so useful is that if you can bind them to an off bar you potentially bypass any bar lag you may run into. What I mean by bar lag is if you were to go in and say try and stealth this stealth towards this mob and hit sap and you go too quick, you might accidentally use something else that's on its keybind, like backstab for me. But if you have these macros, then there's almost no chance that that can happen, especially since I use that change action bar. So immediately when I hit the keybind, it manually pages it over, as opposed to the game's automatic bar switch, which has a slight delay to it. Uh, just to kind of show the functionality of this macro, I'll just hit this training dummy, and I'll spam the macro just so you can see that it doesn't use dance charges and just spam cheap shot or whichever skill you're trying to use. I 
As you can see, it'll only use dance when dance isn't up. And then other than that, it tries to spam cheap shot. And you can also see on my main action bar there that whenever I pop shadow dance, the icon from backstab changes into shadow strike. And it uses shadow strike instead of backstab. Anyway, that's probably going to do it for this video. I know it's somewhat brief, but hopefully it helps out anyone with their current dance macro problems. Because I know a couple of you mentioned it in earlier videos when there was no fix. But now there is a way to fix it, so hopefully that's helpful, and I'll see you guys soon.